So it's it's interesting actually that our suffering, our trauma, our traumatic experiences can actually be used as a way to develop empathetic connections between people. In, in, in well what, said. Yeah, and beautifully and it's said. and it's yeah. and it's also interesting because that's the step that needs to be taken in order to get over yes. that trauma. So it's like realizing that your trauma is not just a, a it's not an it's not just a experience that you're having alone. You're also yes. connected to many other people that are in the same uh, state of feeling, you know, and yes. and that's how you can really work through it. That just I don't know that just clicked for me. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and my whole premise is that around collective trauma, um, the the massacre in Orlando mm. a couple summers ago, the killing of fifty four or whatever it was gay men in that bar that that's the one that cracked me open mm -hmm. that's the one that i just said something's going on that i cannot imagine that the world is happening and not coming into my office mm -hmm. that often clients walk in and i have a story that says well this is their time and their space it's for their personal problems and and i'm going to I'm going to respect that and I will attend to my social issues outside of my office. But that one took me over the edge because I knew more and more my clients are like me. They're reading papers, following social media. Mm -hmm. They're being affected by the collective traumas in the world that are more and more obvious to us. Mm -hmm. So that next week, I asked like, 30 people, 30 clients walking in. I, I actually wrote a letter and put it in my waiting room mm -hmm. and told people what I was thinking so I could prepare them. 20 of the 30 people said they were significantly distressed, grieving, upset, outraged, whatever it was, by what happened in Orlando. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, I wouldn't have, I, prior to that, I wouldn't ask that question in my office. But since then, I'm bringing it up all the time, and I'm finding it so interesting that what gets triggered for people, their personal nerve, is their own trauma, but it connects them to the collective. Mm -hmm. And what I love about that is once people are able to process their own personal connection to the collective trauma, because I want people to not only not lose their mental health and their connection to their intimate others, I want them to stay and become socially engaged. Mm -hmm. And as a therapist, that's not that's not supposed to be something that I'm concerned about, mm -hmm. you know, about right. wanting my clients to become socially engaged. Mm -hmm. And I just think that's totally wrong headed. I understand the thinking behind that, but. I want every one of my clients, and I don't care what their affiliation or their political group, the world is sort of chaotic. And if it's your church group, uh, youth baseball, soccer, whatever it is, or your social activism, that the more you can touch your personal trauma and understand how it connects to the collective, it it makes us more human it makes us more fully human and generally it makes us want to become or stay socially engaged 